Okay, let's be honest, people. Last time I did Energy on Optimus Prime, and to my surprise, apparently he had a lot more supporters than I thought. I got a lot of messages saying, yeah, I like the toy. Why are you picking on that one? Fine. I admit it. I even like the toy. I said it in the last review. But you know what? You're right. I mean, even if he is a good toy, look at me. I'm the plastic addict. I'm supposed to be ripping these toys a new screw hole. I need a bad toy. I need to do something that is worth my scorn and hatred. You know what? You know, I'll, I'll give you a bad toy. I'll, I'll give you a bad toy. When dealing with a toy this bad, you approach a level of evil no toy collector could comprehend. And in meddling with such evil, you may not like what you unleash. Okay. The thing you have to remember about some of these evil toys is no matter... Whoa. The thing you have to remember about the... Okay, you're good. Remember only this. Once you look upon something this evil, you cannot look back. Of course, we begin in vehicle mode, where Hotshot is cast in the most annoying shade of yellow I've ever seen in my life. Hasbro has been abusing this color for years, but at least nowadays they put it on Bumblebee where it belongs. It's a fairly average looking car, there's nothing really roadster or speedster about it, even though he's supposed to be the new hot rod of the group. He's got only a few decals here on the top, some trim on the bottom, you know, except for the front end, nothing's really painted all that well. He does have a few gimmicks in this mode at least, and that's where the intrusiveness of this toy begins. You get the engine that you can plug in to spruce him up, a double barrel cannon, that's okay. You press in the engine hard enough in front, and you get two cute little saw blades. W wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, can someone just explain to me, if I just plugged a double barrel cannon into the front of my car, why the hell would I need two saw blades? I'm pretty sure the gun would take care of it. I don't even know why the nice guy Autobot needs saw blades to begin with. We look around the figure and we notice that he's got these annoying red caps over all his wheels. And that's because of his gimmick that we'll see later on in the review. But we look here at this wheel and it's just a little nub. They didn't even try to hide that. You know, good job on Hasbro. Oh, look, you can see the head. He's got another gimmick in this mode, which I could call it a gimmick, but it's listed in the instructions, so we'll include it here. You plug the Minicon Jolt into the back, you move that down, oh, and he's got a propeller for a speed boost. Uh-huh. Now, okay, this always looks stupid to me. Now, unless you're Inspector Gadget, you've got no business putting a propeller on the back of your car, let alone one hanging off a tiny little helicopter. It's not going to make it go faster. I don't care what pretend or Cybertronian tech you put into it. It's a car! Wind is not going to make it go faster! If you're trying to give me a complex, you're going to have to do better than that. Oh, and don't think Jolt gets off easy. Everyone seems to think this is the bright spot of Hot Shot. Hell no! I mean, even in the MicroMaster era, they would have found some way to hide these arms better. I mean, they're just hanging off of the vehicle mode. They don't even look like anything could have at least tried something. His transformation is pretty basic. Front goes out for the legs, back down for the chest, and there you've got a very Power Glide looking Minicon. Except Power Glide could actually stand up without the support of cement. I mean, he's got absolutely no heel spurs and the propeller is heavy as hell. The only option you've got is to give him the MicroMaster Unileg and break his knees. Put his hips back and now he can stand if you want him to look like he lost a bet in a tough neighborhood. What are you, anti-social or something? Oh, and he just keeps getting worse. 
the most annoying color of yellow they could find is now joined by the most annoying red they could possibly find, creating what looks like a robotic Hulk Hogan, but twice as annoying. If the colors don't get you, it's going to be the blotted out Autobot symbol, or that stupid grin on his face, like he is constantly opening up a brand new Christmas present as a kid. I mean, honestly, would you trust someone going into battle with the dumbest grin on his face all the time? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, now that's just cheating! That does remind me. In the anime, he was the main wielder of the Star Saber. Takara's version of the toy even included a light-up fist, just so he could use it better. Except Hasbro gutted this gimmick, and it used so much wiring through the arm, it caused some of his biggest problems. That brings us to his biggest flaw, his articulation. If you haven't noticed by now, he's got no waist and no neck articulation at all. The legs are okay, but the arms, the ones you want for a supposed swordsman, have nothing whatsoever. This outward shoulder movement and these elbows is all you can get. You can rotate this transformation joint, but then it just looks like his arm got severed in battle, which it might as well have, because this guy could never swing a sword worth anything. The guy's got to either be right in front of him or right beside him. And even then, he's going to have to just stand there while people lob off pieces of his sword. He's completely useless. I would never go into battle with somebody that couldn't even straighten his arm out. He's psycho! Now we finally reach the point where we discuss the one reason why the toy sucks so badly, and that is his overly intrusive Minicon gimmick. You take Jolt, who we previously declared sucked, and you activate the sucking gimmick by plugging him into Hot Shot's ass. No, I wish I was kidding. Firm push into his ass, and you get the Axel Zooka. No, that's not the original name, but, you know, that's what the fans name it, and, you know, it's kind of clever. But, now that the Axel's that high up over his head, you push the Minicon up, and watch your eyes, because he's going to fire right in your face. Now, unfortunately, this is a very dynamic gimmick, but if you want another shot, you got to reset the entire thing. And since that swinging action is uncontrollable, you have to really guess where you're aiming. If I didn't hit this camera, then I mis-aimed, and that's going to happen 89,000 times before you actually hit your target. Not to mention, it's the reason why his waist doesn't work, it's the reason why his neck doesn't work. I do not believe in gimmicks that sacrifice the quality of the figure. Ugh, it's everything about this toy is just unbearable! Ugh, okay, you know what? Forget it, screw it. There are just some toys that are just way too bad. I can't take this anymore. Come on, you're coming with me. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And I do mean desperate. Just hope the guy at the anime convention didn't rip me off. Okay, please, Dragon. Grant this wish and remove Hotshot from existence. Yes. Oh my god, oh my god, it's actually working! I can't believe he's gonna go away. Hotshot's gonna go away! No, 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 now you don't go away. Don't go away now. Grant the wish first. Grant, grant the... Ugh. Never mind. You know what, I admit it. Sometimes I do tend to go overboard on these reviews, but a piece of crap like this deserves it. I mean, I don't understand how Hasbro can do hundreds of good toys in one series and stick something like this right in the middle of it. This is easily the worst piece of plastic I have ever owned and had the absolute displeasure of having to review. <sighs> okay. I've talked about this piece of crap enough. You know, I guess it, you know, it could be worse. I mean, I know there's worse things out there that have the Transformers name stuck to them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can go there. And I will. This is why I stay addicted. So you can stay away. ha <laughs> ha.